This video will help you understand what we mean by the Earth's heat flow. In the notes, you've probably found out what the heat flow is. And it's represented really well in this diagram, this map. The areas of red and orange here, and here, and over here as well, are areas where there's extremely high heat flow. The blue areas are the areas where there's less heat getting to the Earth's surface. The numbers at the bottom are the units in which heat flow is measured in. It's measured in watts per meter squared. The highest amount is about 0.3 watts per meter squared, and these happen to be at the mid-oceanic ridges. The lower amounts are in the continents and in the middle of the ocean basins. The graph I asked you to draw in your assessment look something here is the heat flow graph showing up peaks and troughs, another peak, a trough and another peak. Uh, these peaks relate to different parts of the Earth's surface. So if you look at the diagram above it as well, you can see the highest peak, the highest amount of heat flow, which is 0.3 watts per meter squared, occurs at what is known as the mid-oceanic ridge. This is where the two plates are pulling apart. Another high point is at what's called hot spots. These are places within the interior of a plate where volcanoes occur. And the last high point is at subduction zones where magma is rising to form volcanoes. So in the answer to why does the heat flow vary across the Earth's surface, it all depends on plate tectonics. For example, where the two plates pull apart, the hot interior of the Earth is nearer the surface, which brings more heat to the surface. Also, second reason, is the magma is generated and that erupts onto the surface, again bringing more heat to the surface of the Earth. The same happens in a hotspot. Lots of magma brings all the heat to the surface quicker than in areas where there's no magma rising. So low heat flows are found here and here. The lowest heat flow, you can see on the graph, is at the subduction zone itself where the trench is. Because this is where a very old and cold lithosphere is being forced down into the mantle and it lowers the temperature, which reduces the heat flow in that area. So the heat flow curve, the high points, the low points, are all due to plate tectonics.